the capacity to use firearms. We shall certainly degrade, downgrade the capacity to use bows and arrows. The cattle raiders are blamed for using arrows laced with poison to quicken the death of their victims. They smear poisonous uh, substances on them. Since the launch of Osalama Kwa water disarmament operation, about 700 illegal guns have been removed from the hands of the criminals. However, the Joint Security Forces say they will not allow any room for resurgence. 88 of them have been arrested and they are in a Capriprit police station where they will, uh, they will appear in a Capriprit court. Richard Oyel, this is my story. Now, lower local leaders in Busia district are appealing to government to find alternative ways of maintaining roads within the district if the country is to survive with its own population. Now, the group claims many of the wrongdoers are relaying people in the area due to poor roads. And the district is concerned about what exactly will happen and what the fate is for their residents. Potholes and bush environment is what describes most of the community access roads in Busia district. In Sukuda sub county, most roads are out of use after they developed the potholes. Go back to the bridge that is uh, Sukuda Havuleke and then uh, Bugundu Hira Road. These roads are totally down. And uh, when we go like uh, to uh, Buchicha, Sukuda, Namungodi Road, it is also down. Out of a total of 20 sub-counties, over 15 have got almost their entire roads cut off. And with the road network believed to be a key in accessing services to the population, the bad roads have greatly affected locals. The cost of transport is very high. For example, as I am speaking right now, from here to Busia town, to hire a border border, it requests, uh, the, the, the border border person will, will request for 4,000 shillings. And when the roads are good, only 1,000. The sub county leaders say the poor road network is as a result of budget cuts. The sub county has seen the budget cut from over 90 million to 15 million shillings, money that is not enough given the state of roads. If you want to, to open up a road, it is something that can cost you like 30 and more. Or millions. So when you give us like uh, 15 million, it means that we cannot open any road. With almost the entire district going through the same challenges, leaders suggest that it is high time the government considered equipping district with the new road equipment as well as increasing district road fund. One of the reasons why these roads are like this, in Busia districts, the whole district, we just have only one road equipment. And it moves all over the 20 sub-counties plus the municipality. So uh, I cannot blame so much the district. Uh, fact is, we just have one road equipment. Out of 41 billion shillings passed in the running financial year, only 243 million shillings was released to maintain a total of 526 kilometers of district road. The district has only been able to work on 55 kilometers of roads, leaving the rest in a sorrow state. As a result, criminals are taking advantage of the poor state of roads to waylay people and rob them of their valuables. Somebody can come here and get hidden in this bush. You are passing there unknownly. You have, you have been hearing this, this news here that some people have been fighting uh, some boys. There's a person who was killed there. David O'Shane, this is my story. Now, locals in Changwali sub county in Chikube district have stormed Sonzi Health Center 3 protesting absenteeism of the health workers from the hospitals. Now, these say the, absente the absenteeism of health workers has affected, has affected them in a way that they cannot at least afford health services from within, leaving many of them struggling to find care. <laughs> 